Hello everyone, welcome to the new Game of Thrones game. I'm back, I'm, I'm now doing stuff again. Yay, Matt is back, back again. So this is the new um, Game of Thrones game by Telltale. I didn't realize it came out, so I got it today and now I'm going to play because I can. And you guys are gonna hopefully watch because that would be cool. So I'm back. Yeah, I was, I've been away for a bit. Um, I lost a lot of footage. One of my hard drives broke. Um, and so I lost lots of TTT. So I'm starting all again. And I've been on holiday. And yeah, it's a bit bad. For thousands of years, House Forester has been a loyal bannerman to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolfwood, they harvest the, the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ri ripped apart by war, rival houses seek claim to the Forester ironwood for themselves. And the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. Okay. So that's the house that we play as, I guess. That's the banner I had when I was playing the other game. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breakers, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Ah, so I assume that this is me. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brick. Oh, little bit of clipping there. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You will never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. Oh, that's a bit of a dick move. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm a squire. You, I'll do it. Oh. Okay. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king in the, the north! north! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! The North remembers! Aye! Yeah. Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, of what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. 
Let You've served finish. House Forester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can Let's I see. offer you? Um, oh, let's be humble. You serve me well. I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Hmm. Come on. Can I get up to you? <laughs> These things are fucking heavy. Go with Bowen. Okay. <sighs> Do as I'm told, I guess. Because I'm more still a wine. Grab my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Norin and see how much you like it. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling Two wine minutes. around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Ah, oh. Oh. Shit. <laughs> this is the night of the Red Wedding. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. He's a weird looking man. Phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Yep, yep, some swords. Lots of swords. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Okay. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? <laughs> What's wrong? It's gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We have enough wine. Then take the fucking flagon already. Yep, yep, take the wine. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Is he blind? <laughs> One more first. the others. Good luck. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Well, I did choose to leave Bowen because. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Oh, shit. Okay, I have to pay attention now. Okay. 
shit, was that right? <laughs> Dead. Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Badass. Or not the phrase they they slaughtered him, my lord. Tell the truth. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Tell the truth. Find a weapon quickly. Go, my lord, while there's still time. Why is he not at the feast? He must not be a very good uh. boy. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase is time to <gasps> Oh shit. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. There's no time to. Okay, I'll take that. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase you have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you, my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> We love to the fray. Shit. Go to the bad job. Where'd the beardy guy go? He seemed a bit fucked off. It's just weird.
episode one, Iron from Ice. Forest lands the King's Road. Damn, this game looks really good. It's got a weird, nice sort of painted style. Looks great. There's a pig. I should kill the pig. Is this his father's farm or something? Oh, oh, I can move! Oh, wicked. I actually have control of this guy. I was wondering if it was going to be the same as... as before. Oh, there's a dead pig. Shit, man. But you know, who doesn't love bacon? There's a fire. Can I run? Oh, there's a cart over here. Is there anything on it? Maybe? No? Okay. Go look at the cart. Look at this cart. It's on the side. Damn. Got a bit of blood on your butt. That's father's car. <gasps> no. It is his father's pig farm. They've been Lord roasting Bolton the place. Better give us fucking titles for this. Think it may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> oh, they're killing the pigs. Why you do this? Why you do this? Move oh. along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <clears throat> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Get to your father. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Good for them. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Ah. I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now, why don't I believe you? So he wouldn't. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Smooth. <laughs> No. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. Cut off your fucking ass. Fuck you. Yeah, that's what I like. Not really good at this. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Oh shit. Pitchfork. Ooh. Or an axe. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Pitchfork. <laughs> oh, sick. Okay, get the sword, get the sword. Oh, shit. Which one's A? Right. Maybe I have to hold A. I don't know. Maybe. Mercy! Please! I beg of you! I, I have a family! They'll never survive without me! I have no quarrel with you! I, I was only following orders. To be merciful. Thank you! He comes back to try and kill me. 
Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Right, that was interesting. So, is my dad dead? Is he dead? Father? Garrett! You survived! Yep, yeah I did. That's why I'm here. Your, your sister! Oh, she hid. I should say she's dead. That looked like some feet. I tried to stop them! And now he's dead. I'll kill the men who did this. This sucks. Well, I'll end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.